What's up everybody? Now I know I've been trying to like not do these vlogs, but today was more of a relaxing day than anything because I don't know, Monday, don't want to do anything, so I didn't do anything, but I will talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the Flash versus Arrow first part, the second part will be on Wednesday. I will be doing a full review of it and my expectations for it are very, very, very high. Now, reason is, is because I kind of got, uh, what's the word? I didn't think that The Walking Dead mid-season finale wasn't that good. Now, please don't shoot me. It wasn't that great. It wasn't the best that they had done. But I do admire them not trying to recreate this mid-season finale from season four, which would have been insane. But... Uh, I have read some stuff, and it turns out Rainbow Raider is going to be in this episode of The Flash. So, it leads me to believe that either him or Oliver is going to get his emotions controlled or warped or whatever, and they're going to fight each other. As I think it's going to be a crazy good fight. Oliver's got a lot of experience, got a lot of gadgets. Barry's really fast and super healing and vibrating and all that stuff. So, I'm very, very excited for this episode. Uh, we're going to have Team Arrow and Team Flash, like the whole gangs, they're all hanging out and stuff like that. Uh, so, it'll be the first time that Diggle sees Oliver. So, that'll be interesting, or not Oliver, but Barry. So, that'll be interesting how he handles metahumans. Um, but at the end of last uh, week's episode of Arrow, we had a boomerang death. So that means Boomerang is around. So I'm thinking that that might be why Team Arrow comes to uh, Barry City. Uh, now, I could be wrong, but I, that's what my speculation is. And hopefully that'll, that'll probably drag from that Flash episode to the Arrow episode only because Rainbow Raider is going to be the, the most important villain in that episode. So... I think it's going to be great. I'm super excited for it. It's going to be a major crossover between two shows, and it's something that hasn't happened like this in TV for a while. At least I don't think so. So it's very, very exciting. Not to mention that the possibilities of, I just heard this, the possibility of CBS having a show called um, Supergirl, and she would be able to cross over to the Arrow and Flash universe, which would be freaking awesome as well. Uh, there's rumors of T. Well, there's not really rumors. They they called for a uh, pretty much a writing uh, pilot for Titans on the TNT channel, and then you have Gotham on the Fox and Constantine on NBC. But I think Constantine's gonna get canceled. That's what I keep hearing. So I don't know. DC knows what they're doing with their TV shows. So I don't know. I'm excited for tomorrow. Like. Way, way excited. I will have a few, few, blah, blah, full review. And, uh, yeah, just look forward to that, guys. Anyway, hope it's a fantastic day. Hope it's a safe evening or afternoon night. As always, I'll see you tomorrow.